What's going on guys? So today's video, if you want to find out my thoughts on Lacoste L1212 Eau Fresh, stay tuned and watch. If this is your first time coming across my channel and you like this type of content, something that's raw, honest, sarcastic, doesn't always do positive videos, trust me, this one is not going to be a very positive one. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. But YouTube does not always send out the notifications, so please come back to the channel at least once a week as I do two to three videos a week at this time. But before I get into the actual review of this, please slap a like on this video to show YouTube that you actually like this type of content. Sometimes negative material is nice to view instead of always happy-go-lucky. So guys, my honest take on Lacoste L1212 Eau Fresh. So this set was actually launched in 2018. The top notes of this one are aquatics and lemon with the mid being lemoncello and green notes and the base is cedar, patchouli and musk. Now I did not know what lemoncello was originally and I thought that the notes itself this was going to be a really interesting fragrance especially with something called lemoncello. Now lemoncello is an Italian lemon liqueur that's mainly produced in southern Italy. What do I get out of this? I get a really synthetic, shitty ass lemon accord, some aquatics and green notes. The base is, there is some patchouli there, a little woods, but I also get a bit of a creaminess. I don't know if it's from the lemoncello or not, but I don't get a boozy accord. I was expecting because of like the picture, which is here, I was expecting something effervescent, sparkling, bright. I didn't get it with this. So occasions, I would say school and just day-to-day -day casual. It's gotta be a casual event. Like I'm talking like t-shirt and shorts, that type of casual. Seasons, summertime, perhaps, longevity, crap, two, three hours and projection was Pretty much none to maybe mild and that's being generous. Prices on this one. This was a total blind buy. You know, again, I saw the note breakdown and I saw the, what the color of the bottle looked like and I'm like, this I really gotta try. Nobody's talking about this fragrance. There's probably a reason for that, but I'm like, gotta try it out. When I bought it, I believe I bought mine off Fragrance X or Fragrance Net. It cost like 80 or $85 Canadian. That's like, 55 to 65 dollars American. However, it's not on the major discounters. It's not on Fragrance Net, Fragrance X, Fragrance Buy.ca, not even Max Aroma. I did see this on Kohl's.com right here for about 45 or 48 to be exact to 61 dollars. I don't know if that's USD or Canadian. I've seen it on Amazon for about 75 to 85 dollars Canadian. Is it really worth that? No. If you're gonna spend money on this, I would not spend more than $25 USD. Wife saw this one, she thought it was just okay and really nothing special. My final thoughts on this one, and we're gonna make this a short video. I was severely disappointed, you know, blind buying, which this was, is always a gamble. You're not always gonna get bangers. This really isn't. Lacoste really doesn't produce the best fragrances, but some of them I find are very appealing and a very nice smell. They are a company I find that caters more so to the younger demographics, but this fragrance is just, it's, this, I don't know what to really say, this, it's not all that great. Like, I'm just severely disappointed. I wish I didn't waste that type of money. And this bottle is not gonna stay in my collection. Cameron from the channel, Carolina Fragrance Reviews, he said that he would take this off my hands. He said, like when he saw my Instagram post, that this one really does interest him. It really interested me in the breakdown, that no breakdown. But Cam, hopefully you're not as disappointed as I am. You know, it's, I was expecting something bright, zesty, sparkling. The color of this bottle, I was expecting because of that, but also just that lemoncello. I never knew what lemoncello was until one of my subscribers described it what it was and I googled it for this very video but again severely let down and this was a blind buy that just really did not work out so I personally don't recommend it but if you want to try it out 
make sure that you get it for a very good price. Cameron, hopefully that you like this one, but this one did not work for me. My rating out of five, this is being generous, two. I, I generally give like two and a half when I don't when it's something I don't like, but this, like, oh Jesus. For the price tag that I wasted my money on and just the severe letdown, the only good thing about this is the color of the bottle. That's it, it's bright, it's fun looking, it looks happy, which I clearly am not, and there's a good reason. My stupidity for blind buying this. So guys, that's a very negative yet honest take of Lacoste L1212 O Fresh. Definitely don't recommend this one, but Cameron, hopefully you like it. Guys, that's it. Catch you in the next video.